In this lecture, we're going to learn how to duplicate objects. You're going to learn how to duplicate your mesh to create a double. You're going to create linked doubles and appended doubles. We're also going to use the hotkey Shift and D before finishing with a challenge. So, in order to duplicate our objects, there are several ways in which we can do this. The first way, we're going to go over to the tools bar and press on the duplicate button underneath edit. If you can't find it, you will have a series of subsections to the side and make sure you are on the tools panel. So duplicate and then drag your mouse cursor over to position your duplicated cube and left click. So there we go, we have one, two cubes. The second way is duplicate linked. So we'll press duplicate linked and confirm. Fantastic. So this is our original cube. This is our duplicate and this is our linked duplicate. Note that we could also create a linked duplicate from the original as well. If we look in the outliner, we can see that these are three separate objects. But let's see what happens when we begin editing these objects. And this is where we're going to find out the difference between duplicates and linked duplicates. So I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. So I have my original cube and I have its duplicate. If I grab a vertice and move it about, we can see that nothing happens to the other cubes. Very simple, okay? What happens when I edit this cube? So I'm going to go back into object mode, select my second cube, go into edit mode, and straight away, we can see that the first duplicate has been selected as well as the, append the linked duplicate. So if I grab this vertex and grab those two cubes are moving around at the same time. Very interesting. So basically, to summarize what's happening here, is when you create a regular duplicate, those two cubes will act independently of each other. However, if you create a linked duplicate, then when you make changes to the original, the duplicate will also change. We're going to come out of that. And let's see if the same occurs with the linked duplicate. So select the linked duplicate, press tab, and we can see the same applies. So these two objects, although they are different objects in the outliner, when we're in edit mode, they remain the same in terms of we can edit them simultaneously. However, one thing to note, you can only edit or select parts of the object that has been selected. I can't go over to this cube and select any vertices because it wasn't my originally selected object. Not something that matters too much since they're being edited together. However, in object mode, Say if I wanted to scale one of these objects and rotate the other. Let's see what happens. I'm going to scale now the first duplicate. So S to scale and scale up. This time, nothing seems to have happened to our appended duplicate. Let's try rotating the duplicate. Press R to rotate and rotate around. 
nothing seems to have changed. In terms of linked duplicates, it's important to note that only the editing of the object itself is done at the same time. Scene transformations, so location, rotation and scale, remain completely independent of each object. So I can move this object wherever, I can rotate, I can scale it and it will have no impact on the other. However, if I go back to edit mode and grab, we can see it still has the same effect for both objects. Even though one has been rotated and one has been scaled, we can still edit those same points. So, to summarize, we have two ways of duplicates. The first way is a regular duplicate in which once that duplicate is made the two are completely separate in every way they are two completely different objects one was born of the other so it has the same shape the same properties but it is now completely independent once you have confirmed it the second way is linked duplicates Linked duplicates, when in edit mode, are edited simultaneously, so they will always maintain the shape of the original. You can only edit the object that was selected in object mode, but this part doesn't matter since both are being edited in the same way at the same time. In object mode, however, these two objects are independent of each other. So, best way to remember that, for duplicates, they are completely independent. For duplicate links, they are independent in object mode, but they are connected in edit mode. Before we finish, there are in fact a couple of other ways of duplicating. The first way is Shift D, which is your hotkey to duplicate. This is a regular duplicate. The second way is Alt D to create an, a linked duplicate. If we go into edit mode, we will see one, two, three. These two are linked. This one is not. OK, guys, if we look in our options here as well, we will see we have the Add Duplicate option as another way of adding duplicates. So, now it's challenge time. I want you to create a double and then adjust the size of the duplicate. I also want you to try and take this challenge further and I want you to create three doubles from an object. So this is your chance, create three doubles from an object. I want you to make sure that they are all linked doubles and I want you to move all three into separate parts. Then you're going to move one, rotate another and scale the third. Give that a go guys and I will see you in the next lecture.